Welcome to Learner's Planet, my dear children. In this session, we will study about safety and first aid. So, children, let's start with a very good motto. Children, safety is as simple as A, B, C. That is, always be careful. So, this is the very good motto of safety which we should always follow. So, we should always take care while we are at home or in the kitchen or on the road or at the school. So now let's study about safety and first aid. Children, if we are careful, we can avoid most of the accidents that take place around us. Right? So you can see in this picture, a boy is lighting a firecracker. Right? So, if he takes care of himself and lights a firecracker very carefully, then no accident will happen. But, if he will not take care if he will not light a firecracker carefully then yes accident will happen so always remember that we should be very careful while lightening the firecrackers children accidents may take place inside as well as outside our house so we should always take care while we are inside our house as well as when we are outside our house. Now let's study about some safety rules which we should follow. So the first safety rule that we should follow that is, we should not play on road. So always remember, do not play on road. Do not cross the road when the road is busy with vehicles. And always follow the traffic rules. Right? So we will study about each of them in detail. So now we will start with safety at home. Many accidents can take place at home if we are careless. So we should follow these simple rules which can keep us safe. Like follow some safety rules when you are in the kitchen. Follow some safety rules when you are in the bathroom. And you have to also follow some safety rules when you are on the road. So first of all, we will study about some safety rules when we are in the kitchen. So children, always use tongs or a thick towel when you hold anything hot right so you can see in the picture these are tongs and this is a very thick towel so you should hold the hot vessel or the hot utensil with the tongs or thick towel the second safety rule that we should follow when we are in the kitchen is that keep pan handles turned away from the edge of the cooking counter. Why? Why should we turn away the pan handle from the edge of the cooking counter? Because 
if you are running or walking over there in the kitchen then you may knock the pans of the stove right and you can get hurt and if the pan handle is very hot or if the pan is very hot then you may get hurt by it right so always remember that you should keep such utensils handles turn away from the edge of the cooking counter then always throw vegetable and fruit peels in the waste basket why should we throw it in the waste basket why should we throw all the vegetable and fruit peels and other waste products in the dustbin or the waste basket yes to avoid slipping right because if you will slip then you may get hurt the next safety rule is that you should always keep the floor clean like you can see in the picture this is a very good lady who is cleaning the floor she always keeps the floor clean why should we keep the floor clean because if you spill something on the floor like water or oil then wipe it off quickly why so that you or someone else in your home someone else at your home or in the kitchen does not slip and follow sorry does not slip and fall right so always remember that you should keep the floor clean it should not be dirty with oil or water or any kind of solid or liquid now we will see some safety rules when we are in the bathroom right so the first safety rule which we should follow when we are in the bathroom is that keep the bathroom floors dry when the bathroom is not in use right so why should we keep it dry why should we keep the bathroom floors dry because suddenly you are going into the bathroom and if the bathroom is wet what will happen you will slip off right and you may hurt very severely so you should always remember that you should keep the bathroom floors dry when it is not in use then the next safety rule when you are in the bathroom is place a non slip mat just outside the bathroom door to wipe your wet feet right so this is a picture of a non slip mat so you should place this kind of mat outside the bathroom door why to wipe your wet feet otherwise you may fall then do not leave your bar of soap on the bathroom floor what will happen if you will keep the soap on the bathroom floor yes you may slip on it and you can hurt yourself badly because if the soap will fall on the bathroom floor or if you leave your bar of soap on the bathroom floor the soap is very what kind of soap is it soap is very foamy and if we will leave on the bathroom floor the bathroom floor becomes slippery so we may slip on it and the next one is that do not play with your father's razors or blades why because they can cause you cuts on your fingers or on your hand so 
do not play with such sharp objects right then do not touch plugs and switches with wet hands why you should not touch the plugs and switches with wet hands because they may give you an electric shock right so you can see in the picture this boy is getting an electric shock why because he mistakenly touched the plug or the switch with the wet hands so he is now getting a shock an electric shock so you should not touch plugs and switches with wet hands so children now we will move on to this next topic so this is safety outside the house what we studied just now was safety at home now we are going to study about safety which we should keep when we are outside the house so children we must learn to obey safety rules outside the house too right for example when we are in the school in the bus in the playground and even on the road so how we should take care or what safety rules we should obey and follow let's see so the first rule is not cross the road only at zebra crossings or use the subway or the foot bridge right so always remember that you should cross road only at the zebra crossing right or you can use the subway like metro train or the foot bridge now let's see what is actually a foot bridge yes a narrow bridge used only by people who are walking is called foot bridge right so you can also use foot bridge or other subways now let's see some of the safety rules that we should follow when we are outside the home so the first safety rule is look to your right and then to your left and then right again before crossing the road if there is no subway and make sure that there are no vehicles coming okay because if the vehicles are moving so fast on the road and if you are crossing at the same time then you might get an accident so always remember that first you have to look your right then left and then right again before crossing the road and make sure and see that there are no vehicles coming then never stick out your head or your hand from a moving vehicle right what will happen you may get hurt if another bus is passing through your bus or besides your bus right so you should always take care of this that you should never stick out your head or your hand from a moving vehicle right so this is a picture of a girl showing that she is she has sticked out her head on a moving school bus right so this is a very bad thing you should not do this then the next safety rule which we should follow is do not play on the road like this girl is playing on the road 
This is a very bad thing. These are bad manners, right? She is not following the safety rule. So she might fall or she might get hurt, right? So always remember that do not play on the road or you can meet with an accident. Then always wait for your turn at the swings in the playground. Okay? And do not stand on the swing. Right? Otherwise you may fall and hurt yourself badly. Right? So you should always wait for your turn. Not like this girl who is standing on the swing. This is the wrong thing. Right? And the next one. Do not rush up and down the stairs. Like you can see in the picture, this man is running very hefisadly, right? He's running very quickly. So you should not run or you should not rush up and down these stairs. Otherwise you may fall off these stairs, right? And always remember that you should not push or pull each other. Right? So you should always take care that you should not push any other people or your friends. Right? This is very bad manners. Then, do not run around in the classroom. Right? Otherwise you may get hurt with the benches. Right? So, you should always take care that you should always walk in a queue or in a line when you are in the classroom or you are going outside the classroom to the playground. Right? So you should not run around the classroom. Then always make a queue like these girls are making. Right? So they have very good manners. So you should always make a queue while you are boarding a bus. Right? You should not run and you should make a queue while boarding a bus. And do not step on the moving bus. Always step on the bus when the bus is not moving. Right? So children, I hope that you are clear with the safety rules which you should keep at home and also outside the home. Right? So always obey and follow the safety rules. So we will continue this lesson in the next session. Till then, keep learning and keep enjoying. Thank you children.